Hello everyone, my name is Rima Jahami. This summer I'm currently a participant in the Young Scientist program at Blue Marble Space Institute of Science. So today I'm introducing environments on Earth like hydrothermal vents and tidal pools with pond like clay minerals may have had an impact on peptide bonds on the origin of life on all the Earth. First of all, we need to know what are clay minerals. They are a type of sedimentary rock that are made up of small layered particles. They are formed when rocks are broken down by water and wind, especially next to hydrothermal vents and tidal pools. But how clay mineral surfaces interacted with simple organic molecules for the origin of life? Clays are known as minerals with certain application for two things. First, absorption, second, catalytic processes. So this concept was first proposed by the chemist Curran Smith in 1966. He hypothesized that specific types of lettuce imperfection, as you can see it here in the microscopic image of clay minerals, such as dislocation, since these flaws appear to reproduce themselves and they are um, self-selecting any crystallization processes, probably accompanied by some basic biological evolution. I found a really interesting article called Enhancement of Peptide Bond Formation of Polyribonucleotide on Clay Surfaces. The author investigated the effect of polyribonucleotides on the formation of peptide bonds between amino acid on the clay surfaces. So let's imagine this together. There are a lot of organic molecules on the surface of the clay, but what do the author mean by the enhancement of the clay surface? First, there are amino acid molecules, which are organic molecules absorbed into the clay surfaces. Second, there are um, polyribonucleotides, which are long chain of ribonucleotide, and they are the building blocks of RNA also absorbed into the clay surface. The amino acid and the polyribonucleotide interact with each other, forming a complex. The peptide bond is formed between the amino acid and the complex. As shown as in the figure two, is a proposed mechanism for the clay surface dependent peptide bond formation on the polynucleotide. The reaction has two steps, the activation of the amino acid on the clay surface. It means that the amino acid is depronated by a base on the clay surface, making amino group a nucleophilic. Second, esterification of the amino acid and the two feed OH group of ribonucleotide. It means that the nucleophilic amino group attacks the carbonyl carbon of the ribonucleotide forming an ester bond. Lastly, the ester bond can then hydrolyze to release a dipeptide, or it can be further elongated by the addition another of amino acid. This proposed mechanism is supposed by experimental evidence that this shows that amino acid can be activated on the clay surface. And that's all. Hope you enjoyed this as I did. Thank you for listening.